Hey, welcome back to Daybreak this morning from the Sylacauga City Schools Foundation Executive Director Carol Sprayberry along with Foundation Board Member Nancy Dixon. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being up bright and early here on this first day of September. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Hey, City Schools Foundation, uh, let's talk, talk about this. Explain what its function is and how it got started, Carol. It was begun in 1988. Dr. Morton was our superintendent at the time and he had the vision to start a foundation. We were actually the first one in Alabama and probably in the United States for a high school, mm -hmm. uh, school system. So it takes in money and invest the money and from the interest off of the investments we offer grants to the teachers and the teachers write uh, grants and they get funding to supplement their classroom. Wow. Uh, Linda, you're a member, or Nancy, you're a member of the uh, board, the uh, foundation board and uh, the first chair presented what, 1989 or 1989, something? 1989, it was the Bill Nichols chair. Yeah. Wow, you couldn't start with anyone better. No, sir. <laughs> uh, but the Silicon City Schools Foundation, uh, talk, and I, I saw this on the information, uh, talk about the mission statement of this organization. I'll let you address that, Nancy. You know, it, it, it talks about the partnership with families mm -hmm. and, right. and uh, the community as well. So it, it's a partnership, is it not? It is between local citizens, between companies, um, uh, partnerships, but it is all about um, contributing back. We take in um, donations and uh, contribute that back to the school system in the form of grants. Um, this past year, there was actually uh, we did a one-time donation to the new school, the fine arts program, and to the new library media specialist center. So um, the money was $30,000 that went to the entire school system for that. Wow. Yes. Uh, Carol, how much is generated yearly on this? Any idea? Oh, it, well, this past year we were able to award four different chairs, and every chair represents $25,000. Wow. Right. So that's, that's pretty monumental that we can pull in that much and our we've we have offered uh, or had 47 chairs already given to the foundation we're working on our 48 which is one dear to my heart it is in memory and honor of mrs dora v perryman who was my business educator when i was in school so we have that one going i'd like to see it completed in december so if you remember mrs perryman and loved her and want to contribute to this chair please contact the foundation at the board of education and we would be glad to take your money. It takes, uh, Nancy, a lot of people to make this work. People who have uh, graduated from Sylacauga, or maybe not necessarily, but love the Sylacauga City School System. Right, and I'm not a graduate of Sylacauga High School, but I love the school system. Yeah. I love our mission. Um, we have some outstanding teachers um, and leadership at our school system, and it is very exciting to be a part of it. Now, I know both you ladies are much younger than I, but things have changed, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Carol, down through the years as far as education and dollars that are needed to yes. uh, fund education. Mm -hmm. It has. I mean, I, I retired a year ago now. This is my second year out of teaching for 32 years in our system. And yes, from the day I began until the day I ended my career, it is much different. Um, technology, for one thing, has added so much dynamics to the plate of education, it's great, but it also has to be funded and updated and upgraded. So some of the, one year, I know in particular, the foundation concentrated on just technology and gave all their monies that year toward mm -hmm. upgrading technology for throughout the system. Wow. Um, and Carol, that was a $100,000 grant that year. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it was the largest grant yeah. um, wow. donation. We have mm -hmm. given over $1 million now in grant money. You know, we've got projects going on right now, too, that mm -hmm. we want to talk about today. Yes. We, um, you all are noted, will notice at the end of football season that Legion Stadium will take on a new face look. It'll and be no more. Will it? <laughs> <laughs> it will be much, much better and yeah. just complement the high school on the opposite side of the street. But part of the fundraiser for the foundation is that we are going to be selling pavers to be laid into the sidewalking and the plaza area, the, the space between the Tom Calvin Field House and the end of the stadium is going to be the plaza where the concession stand will be held. So we're, we're selling pavers to be laid into that area that can be personalized. 
Uh, it can have your name on it, your children's names, your class of name, your business's name. Um, so we are kicked this off a couple of weeks ago and we're excited. The, the energy from this has been phenomenal. Mm. Uh, Nancy, uh, you mentioned a few moments ago you're not an actual graduate of Silicon High School, mm -hmm. but when you go down Broadway, I mean, you can't help but notice. I mean, it's an eye catcher of it what's is. been done there. It is. It absolutely is. Um, uh, the just the um, growth of our school system, um, the work that has been put in uh, to the. Um, detail of what our school looks like now. It's exciting to, to walk down, to drive through campus and, and see everything, all the activity mm -hmm. that's occurring. It's nice having your school right in the middle yes. of town. Now, Carol, you don't mm -hmm. see a whole lot of cities that has uh, mm -hmm. their high school, or one yeah. of their high schools, showcased right. in downtown Silicon. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you can't come from the north and not see us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how can people get involved in the Aggie Walk Brick Campaign? Well, first of all, the foundation has a link off the Sylacauga City Schools website. So you can go to www.sylacauga.k12.al.us. And on the left-hand side, we are the second link, SCS Foundation. When you go to our link, you will go under fundraisers and you'll find all the information about the Perriman Chair mm -hmm. and the Aggie Walk with the costs. Um, one of the unique things that we have uh, available to us, when they demolitioned the north wing of the high school, there were some marble slabs in the restrooms of those mm -hmm. of that wing, mm -hmm. that's Sylacauga white marble. So we've been able to salvage that, um, and we were selling 24 by 24 squares. Unfortunately, those are all sold, mm -hmm. but we have some 8 by 8 inch squares that still could be purchased. Mm -hmm. And those are $500. And then the pavers, we have 4 by 8s for 100, 8 by 8s for 200. And we are going to sell a 24 by 24 for 750. Mm -hmm. So they're going fast. They're going fast. <laughs> well, if, you know, people watching this morning, uh, Nancy, just say, well, you know, I just want to make a donation. I, I believe in our Silicon Valley <clears throat> City School System. I believe in what the uh, foundation and the purpose of it is. Uh, uh -huh. Can they just make a monetary donation? Absolutely, absolutely. They can make a monetary donation and uh, send it to the school foundation at the Board of Education. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, you know, chairs. Uh, a foundation chair is a great mm -hmm. way um, to contribute to the foundation and starting now. Um, for the future. Um, we had the class of 69. Yeah, I saw that. Um, yes, yeah. uh, uh, they, uh, the chair was presented to them last year in 2014. I believe it was four um, we've had over mm -hmm. the past year. Mm -hmm. um, so just a lot of excitement and having Carol on board, being a past recipient of the grants for the school foundation and now her having that passion already mm -hmm. and then bringing it um, to uh, being the executive director. Is that your driving force? <laughs> <laughs> she, she has a first hey, hand I've, I've, I see both sides of it. My mm -hmm. husband was a charter member of the foundation and, mm -hmm. and is still on it as a board member. And being a classroom teacher, I was a recipient of many grants. And so, yes, I am very passionate about this <laughs> because I know what it did for my classroom and how it helped me promote some programs and do some things I couldn't have done otherwise. And uh, once again, who can be a member uh, of, of this organization? And, and if they just, you know, maybe they relocated back to Silicon, been out mm -hmm. of the loop for a while, mm -hmm. and, and they're, they've got a passion for Silicon school system too. Can they plug into this? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you, you contribute, you're a member. <laughs> okay. So um, we uh, we would love to see um, our community contribute to the school fa foundation. It does, it goes right back into the mm -hmm. classroom. Helps our students, helps our teachers to provide those things that the school funding on itself yeah. cannot mm -hmm. um, complete. What so, are you most proud of yourself, Carol? Mm. Oh. Um, you mean as far as my role as the executive director? Uh, th this this, uh, this organization? Uh, yes, yeah, this organization. Just that we are the premier, in my opinion, in the state of Alabama. We have had foundations who wanted to get started come to us and ask us, how did you do it and what are you doing? And um, I mean, you know, just 
I've just seen how much it has done for our school system and our kids. You know, the students are the ones that benefit mm -hmm. the most. And so just yeah. being a part of this and knowing that um, I can help contribute to more gifts and mm -hmm. grants. Nancy, you know, our age group will be replaced by a younger age group mm -hmm. and that age group replaced by mm -hmm. another group. So we've got to look at the future. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We do, and our board is 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 comprised of many generations, <laughs> and uh, and we do we uh, we're just excited about the work that is being done, about the excitement, about the school foundation, and the partnership between mm -hmm. the schools and yeah. the foundation. Uh, once again, uh, talk about the campaign that we've got going on right mm -hmm. now, and uh, two about the uh, chairs for 2015. Yes, the Dora Perryman chair is ongoing. And if you have a family member or a business or just somebody that you want to honor with this opportunity, a chair doesn't have to be given the $25,000 in front. We can build toward it over a period of months or a year. So it's, it's doable. Very and doable. The, the brick campaign is ongoing now. On, yes. And, uh, I, you know, I'm looking at the chairs. I was looking at some of these names on here. Mm -hmm. You talk about icons. Uh, and, and you begin to look at it and you say, wow, there's a lot of people mm -hmm. from Sylacauga mm -hmm. that has made such a difference yeah. in our school system and, uh, you know, now then, they're families. Right. And if you go in the front of the school, the original front of the school, uh, down the main concourse are bronze plaques on the walls and those plaques represent every one of those 47 wow. chairs. Wow. Uh, ladies, thank you both for being with us this morning. And uh, Carol Sprayberry, the executive director of the Silicon City Schools Foundation, and Nancy Dixon, one of the board members, are here. And it takes a board. It does. It's not just one person <laughs> to do this, correct? Correct. All Absolutely. right. Thank you both for being with us this morning. And, uh, of course, uh, Dr. Todd Freeman, the superintendent of the Silicon City Schools Board of Education, and uh, They'll be moving to town before long, yes. too. You know? so no, I'm excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you both for being here this thank morning. You, thank you.